What is up guys? Today we have a very special video for you guys. We're going to be showing our review video of the Carbon Fiber 60 film. All right, It is our newest carbon fiber. It is the most realistic carbon fiber you're going to see. And Christian from CK Wraps is going to show you the video today. Go over some tips and tricks on installing and go over all the details that you're going to need and that you can get an up close look on this film guys. Check it out. Hope you enjoy. What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm going to unveil the coolest gloss vinyl wrap carbon fiber that I've ever seen in my entire life. It's an air release carbon fiber vinyl wrap. It's sitting right here beside me. You can't probably see it from where you're sitting, but I'm going to show it to you today. Let's get into this actual carbon fiber wrap. And I'm going to show you a few different carbon fiber vinyl wraps that I've been using for quite a while that look great, but not as great as that. Carbon fiber that I have right here, which is Hexus Carbon One. This is a printed carbon fiber vinyl wrap. Okay, you can see it, it's glossy. The pattern, eh, it's, there's not a lot of depth to it, but it's glossy, it looks nice. This is good for accent pieces and so on. I wouldn't recommend wrapping a hood in it. The other carbon fiber that you may have seen in a more recent carbon fiber video, and you know, this is like the search for the best carbon fiber basically. You know, I've been looking for a very long time for something that isn't a dry carbon fiber. Dry carbon fiber is so boring. This right here is beautiful in my opinion, but not as beautiful as what I have behind me. So this is a, this is Vivid's epoxy carbon fiber. In my opinion, a little too gray, and it doesn't have that realistic weave that we're all looking for. Put that on the floor too. This right here is, like it's so deep, I can't even believe that it looks the way it looks, but you guys be the judge. We're gonna wrap the hood today and we're gonna do this right now, all on camera for you guys and show you how to do it. I've never used this vinyl right here. So this vinyl, if you wanna know the brand, is TinyBot. And this is a brand that I've been asked about a lot of times recently. Uh, this brand has been out for who knows how long, but I've heard about it now for quite a while. This is innovative, it's different, it's new. I haven't shown it to you in person yet, but uh, I'm tempted to bring it in. Let's bring it in for you and show you, why not? This also has a protective cap on it. Now you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get the same idea right now as once it goes on, but I'm gonna open it up a bit for you because it's probably a little bit tough to see on the roll. All right, this is insanely deep. I don't know if you guys can see that. This has a cap on it, okay? This cap has to be removed. Perfect. 75, done, easy, right? Didn't have to put it on a table, didn't have to do anything else. So you can see the cap is getting a little bit messed up from the roller, it's totally fine, I'm not worried about that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a speed clip right now. We're going to just tighten that up slightly and we're gonna clip it for the time being, rest it right there. This film is more prone to getting water between the laminate and the carbon fiber. The reason why you would get water between it is due to the fact that there might be an exposed edge. So what's an exposed edge mean? And if we wrap around all of our edges and all of our corners and everything else really nicely, which we're gonna do right here in this video, we don't have to worry about an exposed edge other than a stone chip. That's why we're gonna PPF it. The cost to wrap the hood and even PPF over top of it is going to be cheaper than a real carbon fiber hood and you're gonna get the same look, except with the PPF, your hood is going to be scratch proof. So you're never even gonna get scratches. How amazing is that? So just like this, as nicely as possible because we don't wanna get any creases in the film. Let's take this corner off. Okay, we've gotta fix this. This is easy. This is, this is nothing, okay? I'm gonna do this alone. Lift it up. Okay, initial tack's not bad. I didn't put anything down on the surface. You saw that to make it less sticky or anything like that. It just is what it is. Let's do it. I need a bit more pliability. Okay, before, I mean, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna bring the camera in because this looks wild. And I want you guys to see everything. Like, I want you to see that I'm not gonna switch this out for a real carbon fiber hood or anything like that. Like, this is absolutely insane. I'm actually just gonna lift here. 
Ah, that's nice. I like that when it goes all the way across like that. Pull these wrinkles down. Let's throw this up. Pull that up just like that. And then we're going to find a nice center point right there. That's all we need. Go a little bit here. There we go. Pop that up. I don't want to heat it to kill it. I'm trying to heat it so that we're going to see the wrinkles run towards me. You're going to see them right there. Okay, let's take this, grab it, pull it tight, and spread the film outwards. And bring it down nice and slowly. You see, I'm not in a rush. Who's rushing here? Nobody. Get a lot nicer. Beautiful. And then up top here, there we go. Let's pull it tight to the top corner. Beautiful. Amazing. All right, let's squeegee this upwards all the way. Let's go here. Oh, got stuck a little bit there. See what happens when the vinyl settles. It's okay. We can always get those air bubbles out because there is an air release channel. The high points. And I'm going to heat this area. We're going to squeegee it right down and in. This stuff is wild. I have no idea if you guys can even see this yet, but this stuff is like just wild. All right, here we've got some wrinkles. We're going to fix them up and then we're going to move along. Just going to add a little bit of heat right down here. Keep the film tight. Cool. We're going to spread those wrinkles out just slightly to the left and the right. And that's going to aid in longevity of the edge. Now, do I even need to add heat? I mean, I don't know, guys. You tell me. It helps, but did I, do I really need to add heat? Honestly, don't think so. I think I can just pull a lot of this without even adding any heat. And let's push through. Let's heat and push through. Well, all I'm going to do before I get to the end is just make sure that I have no tension on the edges. Let's, I got a little wrinkle right here. So I'm going to pop that, pop this area up. We're going to pre-shrink it again. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hold the film. It just goes away. I'm gonna just, all I'm gonna do is smooth it out. If we have no tension on our edge, the vinyl can't fail. I like to have the hood all the way up when I do the corners. So you know what, what I'll do is I'll show you the one corner on one side. So let's, having the hood up to do the corners makes a lot of sense because I have access here, right? Okay, and then as I, let's keep it down. As I get down around the corner, boom, it kind of shrinks down and around that corner. Just does it on its own. Now I'm going to take the extra step and massage the film down and around that corner. This next corner is done. Like this corner doesn't need anything else. There's not a single wrinkle there. There's nothing there. What I'm doing right now is I'm pre-shrinking the film. So the vinyl is just shrinking down around the edge. Cut, her, cut all the excess off and then wipe it off. And then see what it looks like. Going down on the film makes a nice clean cut. Try to do it in as few passes as possible. My knife isn't even touching the paint. My knife is gliding along, the flat part of my knife is gliding along the actual paint. There's no point or anything that could scrape this paint when I'm doing this. It's also not a bad idea to heat it up a bit, you know, seal up some of the glue, but you don't really need to do this. It grabs just a little bit of my PPF. So let's do that to show you what it looks like with some PPF over top. Let's wet it. And it's not going to dry entirely. And I'm going to wipe it. And we're going to see what this looks like with PPF over top. Just to show you. Here. Are they all going to go away? Probably not. But you would never do this to your wrap or your paint or anything else. Or your PPF even. What happens? Look at that. There's one scratch right there where my heat gun's pointing at. Otherwise, 90... Eight-ish percent of them all went away. And that was with using metal on the wrap. Anyways, guys, I hope that this video in showing you the TinyBot 6D carbon fiber was informative, helpful, and detailed. If you're looking for more PPF videos or you want to sign up for a PPF workshop or you want to learn how to wrap, check out my website, ckwraps.com. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it very much. Take care. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, CK Raps. Uh, thank you guys for everyone involved in this video. Please follow CK Raps and TinyBot Vinyl.
for more tips and tricks and comment below what you want to see next. Let us know what you want us to cover so that we can help you guys out. Thank you so much, fam, for your support. We love you. Till next time. Thank you.